You've probably noticed our Investigates team has been incredibly busy this week, from the investigation in Millersville involving law enforcement to a deeply troubling series of events at a shuttered Nashville fertility clinic that has left hundreds of families looking for answers. But as always, you can rely on us to ask the hard questions and learn what is going on. Now, speaking of that clinic, just shock and disbelief from former patients of the Center for Reproductive Health. You may remember soon after it shut down back in April, News Channel 5 investigates exposed one of the men who treated patients there was not a doctor. In fact, he has no sort of medical license whatsoever. And that is why these patients tell investigative reporter Jennifer Kraus they are so upset with Davidson County DA Glenn Funk. It feels like the justice system let us down a little bit. It's the same reaction. He should not be getting away with that. From one former patient after another. I don't understand how nothing can be criminal. To this letter sent by Davidson County District Attorney Glenn Funk's office to the Metro Police Department this week, informing police of the DA's decision not to prosecute in the case of Frere Dyer and the Center for Reproductive Health. I felt sick after I read it and I just felt that I, I could almost cry. Former patients of the now closed fertility clinic in Nashville received copies of the letter Wednesday. But it is really, really easy to be angry with it because if they don't do anything about it, we can't. And they just can't believe the DA decided to let Ferrer Dyer, as they put it, walk free. So it's a free pass to do what he did and not be held accountable and not there's no repercussions for that? I, I just can't understand. Remember, Dyer was seeing patients at the clinic performing what might be described as invasive procedures, touching women as only their doctor might. And his patients believed he was a doctor. And why not? They said he was a fertility doctor. As our investigation revealed, patients were told he was a doctor. The clinic called him Dr. Dyer, and the clinic's own procedure forms referred to him as Dr. Dyer. But as we discovered, Dyer is not a medical doctor and has never had a license to practice medicine. So you have to be licensed by the state of Tennessee to do a procedure. And uh, from our initial investigation, there were procedures being done that would require a licensed physician. Back in May, the Metro Police Captain over the Special Victims Division told us what Dyer had done appeared to be sexual assault. So you're calling these women, these patients, victims? Absolutely. Absolutely. But according to the DA's letter, the facts in this case do not meet the legal requirements to pursue rape by fraud charges because there's not enough evidence to pursue the charge. But I I can't believe that there are no other charges that they could possibly pursue. But Dyer's patients say if not rape charges, then why not at least impersonating a licensed professional? He walked in the room and introduced himself as Dr. Dyer. These women believe there's overwhelming evidence of that. To me, if you say you're a physician and you're not, that's in, you're an imposter, that's criminal. Dyer was not licensed to do this, and he knew that every day when he put that coat on, and every single time he sat down at a desk and looked at a family in the eyes who was suffering and in pain from infertility and said, I can get you pregnant. He knew that, he knew he couldn't, he knew he wasn't licensed to do any of it, and he knew he didn't know what he was talking about, and he did it anyway. D.A. Glenn Funk did not respond to our request for an interview, but the letter from his office acknowledges the profound distress and pain experienced by those affected and says we extend our deepest sympathies to the victims. I rolled my eyes because I feel like that was just saying, well, I'm sorry, and that was it. It's like, no, I really don't think that you do, because if you did understand, I think this would have been a different letter that you would be sending to patients. And it's not just these three women. Many of the former patients are members of a private Facebook group. And yesterday, it just blew up with angry comments as women started receiving these letters. Like a snowball, right? How many women are we talking? Well, we know at least that Metro Police tell us that more than 150 women came forward after we first exposed that Ferrer Dyer was not a doctor. And they all filed complaints with the police department against him. And if not rape, there are other charges. Assault, like the fraud you talked about. There's a lot of options. Something. It would seem, uh, you know, we wanted to ask the district attorney and he's not responding. Oh. But a lot of women have questions and those same questions. Yeah.
Jen, we know you will stay on top of this. Thank you for your reporting. It's so important. Yeah.